Ryan Fish Attractors, they come in three different sizes, a two and a half, a four, and all of these are the five and a half foot size. We're gonna assemble these and we're gonna sink them. And the way we do that is very simple. We drill a hole into one of the two and a half foot sections of PVC. Then we take a wire and we wanna run the wire right through the hole. And then we take either three queen size bricks or two king size bricks. And we slide them up and we anchor them with the brick itself. Now, these things are very, very easy to assemble. All we do is take a little bit of PVC cement and just put it on the pipe. We take it, we push it, and we twist it. And it sets up real quick. Now here's the hole. We're running the two bricks up through here run the wire through, and then bring it up through the openings there, and then just wrap it off. Another feature this unit has is, on the spear itself, is a pre-punched hole. Now, if you want to, if you want to suspend them off of a pier, a floating pier, or even a fixed pier, you can do that. But the unit itself, once it's submerged, it takes about a week, maybe two weeks to attract fish to it. I've heard people say that within two days they've caught fish off of them. But the key thing about the unit is that it's PVC. It won't rot and there's no way for a fish to hang you up in it. And another feature is you can't hang a hook up in it. If you hang a fish in it, you just hold pressure on him and just let him pull, you pull back. If he pulls two feet, you pull back two feet and he'll eventually just slide right up the end and come right off the cover. But this is a unique product and especially on bodies of water that are bearing a cover you'd be amazed at how effective these units are. You can use your own imagination just visualize the different ways and different places that you can put them. You can start with a two and a half footer in a four foot depth and put another one out in about five foot of water run a line of them then put the four footer out in seven feet another four footer and eight feet. When you get out to 10 feet, put the five footer. Now what you're doing, you're creating a line, a, an edge. Everything gravitates to an edge. Uh, deer gravitate to a tree line, rabbit gravitate to a, a hedge row, quail gravitate to a fence row, and fish gravitate to an edge. So by having a staggered row, you'd get fish migrating from this section of the lake this section of the lake moving up and once they hit that they're going to play up and down depending on light penetration, oxygen level, pH, and a multitude of reasons. But you've got a row of them running from the shallow water all the way on out into deeper water. Other places you can put them, you can put a, a big mat of them out in a big cove in a flat. Uh, other places you can put them around your pier. Uh, if your pier is fixed you can sink them or you can suspend them. If your pier is floating you can do the same thing. You can suspend them. Other places to put them would be along barren shorelines, little clusters of them, along a little channel, along a little ditch, a depression. It's just, your imagination will run wild to the places you can put them. But believe me, when you put them out, the fish will find them. You sink them, and they'll come to it. I can assure you of that.